Well, I've been promising making activated charcoal, so I'm using my old inefficient unit. And basically, what I did is I cut the bottom off of one of these dog food cans and jammed it into the other one. I made a little bit taller tube. And then I uh, filled that up with sawdust. And I put this cap on it to keep oxygen, you know, keep it from burning. And all that sin gas or smoke is going to come out here and eventually it gets hot enough it's going to burn or maybe just blow too fast and cause global warming. But anyhow, I kind of like pre-stuffed my unit. And I'm going to stick that in there. Kind of sort of in the middle. I'm going to jam some sticks in the bottom of the thing. Light her up and see how it goes. Okay, I gotta light her up. Let's see what happens. There's probably be a lot of smoke at first. And it's breezy out. Fuel on the bottom part, there's a screen about here. I put more fuel on top. It's going to be a smoky situation. But I want to get the bottom of that can heated up too. This seems to be a fuel intensive process. I smell like smoke now. <coughs> and I'll start sniffling because I'm a little bit allergic to this oak smoke. Sorry about that. The way it looks, I'm going to melt my tripod. I hope not. Once it gets hot enough, the smoke will go away. Got to mess up like this. You see? I gotta move. Sorry, guys. Little adjustment.
dry, pretty rotten wood. Starting to get some flame off the top of that thing. Mm -hmm. The idea I'm going to be feeding this for a while. It's been burning for a while, and you can see that that lid has sunk down in my uh, sawdust reservoir. So, um, it's working, making carbon. I let it burn a good half hour. I'm letting the coals burn away. And see what I got left in that can. I don't know if you saw this, but just a coffee can. We just chunked out some holes, jammed another coffee can on top of that, cut the bottom off so it jammed. Made a couple of uh, release at the top so I could put a pan on there. And there's a harbor cloth screen down there. Can't see right now. Let's see if I can do it. There's hardware cloth down there holding up the branches on top. But I'd like to put the fire down below in here. Let it cool down. See what our harvest of charcoal is. Well, Fire went out. Another one of my daily multiple naps. Uh, let's take the stuff out and see how dirty I can get. It's nasty dirty. See what I get. Take care in a minute. Okay, okay, let's try this again. Got this out of there. And it's fibrous and stuff. I like to break it off into smaller particles if I can. 
It's carbon. It'll burn. And turn into white powder. Make gunpowder out of it. I got a few nips of metal in there that I can take out with a magnet later. Sawdust never pure in my shop. Should have a mortar and pestle. I still have to pick one of those up. I used to have them, but I don't know where they went. Things disappear on me here until I find them. Make paint, make gunpowder, make a mass, use an ink, purify water. Get me to look stupid. That worked too, right? <coughs> Interesting texture, though, for a bunch of bits of wood. It actually turns stringy, huh? Stringy. It's a mixture of uh, oak and pine sawdust that I use for demonstration purposes only. There's the metal filings and make a stronger down color. Like iron oxide, iron filings. Looks like it's empty. I will find use for it. I put in a glass jar so that it doesn't absorb it, impurities from the air. And now I clean up my mess. Good day.